to the messy kitchen. Warning. 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 Welcome to Messy Kitchen. I'm your host, Miss G. I love you. I love you, Miss G. Today's episode of Messy Kitchen is inspired by the book Something Happened in Our Town by Marietta Collins, Mariana Solano and Anne Hazard. This book follows two families, Josh's black family and Emma's white family. Both families discuss the shooting of a black man in their community. It talks about police brutality and racial injustice. Whoa, 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 Miss G, slow down. What is police brutality? What is racial injustice? You may be hearing these terms used quite a lot lately by adults that you know or even just on the news. There are both black and white police officers that make the right choices and really do try to protect our society. But unfortunately, there are police officers that don't use their powers for good and mistreat members of the black community all because of their skin colour. You're probably thinking, that's so unfair. That's horrible. That doesn't really make any sense. And you're right. That is unfair. That is horrible. And it doesn't make any sense. That is why so many people are protesting against this and using the term Black Lives Matter to emphasize this point. It's so important that we remember to be kind to each other, no matter where we come from or what our race is. Story time. In this story, we follow Josh and Emma's family discussing the shooting of a black man in their community. Emma discusses with her mum the racial mistreatment of the black community by some white people. Emma's mum explains how we need to break this pattern of mistreatment and create a more tolerant pattern. She emphasises the importance of being kind to everyone, no matter their race. In Josh's home, they discuss the mistreatment of their black community by the police officers. His parents explain there are both black and white police officers that make the right choices. But unfortunately, there are some that discriminate against the black community. They speak of the brave historical figures in black history, like Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela how they stood up for what was right and helped others to be treated fairly. Josh's father says, when we unite together, we can make a change. The next day in school, a new boy joins Emma and Josh's class. His name is Omad and he is from a country far away. After lunch, the class are playing football. Emma and Josh both notice that Omad was not picked to play. They both thought about the conversations they had with their families the night before. How it was important to treat everyone fairly and to stand up for what was right. So both Emma and Josh worked together to tell everyone that Omad was going to join in their football game. And with that, they started a better, more tolerant pattern for their school. The end. The important message in that story is that we should all be treated fairly, that we should be more tolerant of each other's differences as that's what makes us who we are. That's it for today's episode of Messy Kitchen with Miss G. Thank you for listening to the important message I chose to emphasise in my video today. Remember it is always so important to treat everyone fairly and to be kind to one another. I wanted to take the time to mention an amazing campaign called The Black Curriculum. They are pushing for black history to be taught in schools and to be mandatory as part of our national curriculum for all age groups. You can go on their website to find out how you can help further their cause. I will link the website in the description. They also have lots of amazing resources for teaching children about black British history. So. Go on over there, have a look. Don't forget to subscribe for more of this. Welcome to the Messy Kitchen with your host, Miss G. Welcome to the Messy Kitchen, cooking for you and me. Welcome to the Messy Kitchen with your host, Miss G.
to the 